So have you been seeing this new Charleston white and boosy beef that is spiraling out of control? <laughs> no, but give it to me. Okay, so look, Charleston white uh, is threatening to call the FBI on Boosie because so Boosie was supposed to go on this guy Aiden Ross, who's a big streamer stream, right? Charleston white is working with Aiden Ross to kind of block the interview. Now this is like a this would have been a big look for Boosie him. Uh, and Vlad TV, another big okay. media company, got into it. It was got really, really messy, really, really fast. But now Charleston White was trying to do a show in Baton Rouge, which mm. is you know the oh, home of Boosie. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And you know Boosie is the king of Baton Rouge, and he shut that show down <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> So Allegedly. apparently the promoter was so afraid for his life that he refused to book Boosie. So this is what Charles the White had to say about it. Boosie, I'm going to put your motherfucking ass in jail, nigga. I'm every boy, I'm a boy, you making threats to the promoter? I got a recorded phone conversation with witnesses on the phone saying the promoter is scared for his life, that he got to live in Baton Rouge, that Boosie go send them people to get you. He said he can't have the show because Boosie goes, I said, nigga, I just hired the police. The promoter's scary. Scary ass nigga. Yeah, nigga, Boosie is a hoe. And I bet he don't want to get in that boxing ring. See, Boosie, you going to try to send somebody, but you ain't going to do nothing, bitch ass nigga. I'm going to put your bitch ass in jail, nigga. I'm waiting for the FBI to send me the right kind of number, nigga, because I'm going to make a report on your motherfucking ass and people. And you make the man, the man call your name specifically. The promoter specifically said your motherfucking name, little Boosie. He implemented you and implicated you, bitch ass nigga. Now, in <laughs> case you don't know, Charleston White has been the one that has brought back snitching to make it great again. Oh, so, no. so, you know, that's been the whole kind of conversation. Now, Charleston White allegedly stopped the interview that Boosie was supposed to be having because he felt like he shouldn't be given a platform because he may or may not have had some people unalived at some point back in the past. Allegedly. So, allegedly. As you say. <laughs> allegedly, right? <laughs> so this is a text from the promoter saying, you know, give me a call one second. Then this is Charles White responding saying, I had witnesses who were on the phone when you made the initial call. Mm. And then he was trying to plead his case and asking, you know, asking Charles White not to like publicize this. And Charles White, <laughs> I'm telling everybody, I'm telling. Well, if I'm going to tell it anyway, was a person. Exactly. And so in the caption, he wrote, so Lil Boosie making threats have already contacted law enforcement concerning these possible threats against my life at Vlad TV. This is the reason why Charles White said that he blocked the Aiden Ross interview with Boosie. They mm. kind of started this whole thing. Mm hmm. Hey, listen, uh, somebody tell Vlad the reason uh, he can't get on the nerve with Aiden Ross is because he used the kid to kill people. We don't want to talk about me playing no character online. Boosie used the kid. Remember Marlo Mike? Now let's talk about Marlo Mike. Or do you and Boosie want to fight? Do you and Boosie want to fight, Vlad? Because I will both your whole ass nigga. Nigga, I think Boosie a hoe anyway, and I think you are. Now, I don't remember the entire story, but Marlo Mike was um and correct me if i'm wrong guys because i'm going off the top of the head i did not re-research this but um allegedly back in the day uh marlo mike and this is a long time ago okay um was a kid who was like a hitman in baton rouge and mm. i think he was like 16 17 when he got arrested he might even he might have been younger but i think he was like 16 17 when he got arrested mm -hmm. uh boosie was facing i think boosie was even locked up during this time and like about to like get charged with this this uh murder and i think uh, Marlo Mike like recanted his story or took credit for the for the crimes. It was some crazy story like okay. that. But what what he's saying is not what he's saying is common hip hop knowledge. knowledge if you are in the know about this, like the Absolutely. people from that city, the people who know about you Absolutely. know what I'm saying. This is this thing. is not new. Oh, this is oh yeah, this is old oh, old oh, news. There's documentaries on YouTube <laughs> about oh, this conversation. Yeah. So it's not that he's necessarily wrong, but also you got to remember, Charleston White went to jail for being a part of uh, being a part of a murder of a white man. Yeah, he actually. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's what Vlad TV was saying. Vlad TV responded to what uh, 
uh, Charleston White saying, it's always funny how Charleston White tries to gaslight and call Boosie a killer, even though Boosie went to trial and was found out guilty. Meanwhile, Charleston White was convicted of killing a defenseless man while trying to steal his jacket. Here's the interview where he admits the whole thing. No! Yes, but again, that's kind of old news too. He's already been right, doing his time. Right, but pot kettle black. Exactly. So, <laughs> I mean... I actually don't know what his real issue is with Boosie. Mm -hmm. um, I hope it doesn't escalate into something violent happening. I hope not. Um, and I'm going to be honest. Out of all the rappers you can play with, Boosie really one of them ones. Like, again, there's documentaries. He was really locked up for some real people coming up missing. <laughs> and they thought they had him. And he beat those cases. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, again... I don't, I don't know what happened. I was probably 16 when all this happened. You know what I'm saying? I, I've heard about it here and there. Because, of course, I mean, you're yeah. going to hear about things like this. But um, to to dredge that up, I think that's pretty low. Especially, like I said, the pot calling the kettle black. You got convicted of what you were charged with. So If we if we being real. Right. So, again, <laughs> you know, this whole situation is crazy. They're going back and forth. Boost, I mean, Charleston White is claiming... Uh, Charleston White is uh, saying that he's going to contact the FBI, that he's reporting this. The promoter is begging him not to, apparently or allegedly. Right. Um, but yeah, so we'll see what happens as this evolves. This is bound to be entertaining if Charleston White is involved. <laughs> uh, Absolutely. And, but I don't think Boosie, he's been pretty much trying to remain silent about the entire mm -hmm. thing, even when he didn't get the interview uh, mm. or get on the show with Aiden Ross. So we will see how it all plays out. And hopefully it just stays internet. Please, peaceful resolution. And, um, and maybe there is a way for them to resolve it, even though I don't see... Charles the white cop in the plea. 